Hello, today I'm going to show you how to tell the time using an analog clock and in particular I'm going to look uh, closely at the, the minutes, um, telling the time with the, with the minutes. And when you uh, see a clock then you're given these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 that are on the clock and they just refer to the hour hand or, or the hours since uh, since 12 o'clock. So 1 refers to 1 hour since 12 o'clock. 2 refers to 2 hours since 12 o'clock, 3, 3 hours since 12 o'clock and so forth. But then the minute hands, um, the minute hands which is the, which is what the big hand is pointing towards, you've actually got to know that, that the 1 represents 5 minutes since 12, uh, the 2 is 10 minutes since 12 and the 3 is 15 minutes since 12. And you can see that as I wind it round and that's 5 minutes past 1 that's 10 minutes past 1 and that's uh, 15 minutes past 1. But uh, if you don't know that 1 equals 5, 2 equals 10 and 3 equals 15, it can be quite uh, confusing to understand how to tell the time using an uh, regular analogue clock. So what I've done just for this video is I've uh, cut out a little bit of paper and I'm going to slip that underneath there. Slip it underneath and on that, while well, I've got the hour hands on the big numbers around the, around the circle, around the clock, I've also put the minutes there to help you understand where the, um, where the minutes are as well. And so the small hand refers to the hours around the outside, and then the big hand refers to the minutes as well. And I'll just put a little bit of uh, tape uh, about there, I'd say, just to make sure it... Uh, all stays in place while I'm doing the video. So at the moment it's one o'clock because the small hand is pointing towards the one and the big hand is pointing towards the twelve. And as five minutes goes past then that big hand moves from the twelve around to the one. And um, you can see that now that's five past one because the little hand, which is sort of all together though, is pointing to the one and the big hand is pointing to the one and the one in minutes means five minutes. If I go another five minutes past past the hour, then it's suddenly uh, it's uh, ten ten minutes. Yep, because the hour's pan is pointing to the two, which is really ten minutes past one in that uh, in this example. And then if another five minutes goes past, then the the big hand, the minute hand, is pointing to the three, which is fifteen minutes. So it's fifteen minutes past one, and we also call that quarter past one because. Uh, in an hour there's 60 minutes and 15 is a quarter is a quarter of uh, of a quarter of the 60 minutes or a quarter um, of the time has gone past since the o'clock. So I'll go again point the move the hand around so it's pointing to the four then. So it's that's actually 20 minutes so it's 120 or 20 minutes past one. And another five minutes has passed, so it's uh, 25 past one or 125. And then around to the to the six. Then six refers to 30 minutes, so that is uh, now 1:30 or half past one. And so these are all past, you know, five past, ten past, you know, 15 past, 20 past, 25 past. And then once we go past the six. We go past halfway, and then we start to um, referring things as being, you know, uh, as being referring to the next uh, the next hour. So at the moment that's one thirty-five, but it's also record it also can be called twenty-five minutes until two. So that's because uh, you can see the if you sort of turn it around there. You can certainly see that our hand is moving between the uh, slowly moving between the one and the two and at the seven then which is uh, 135 is also 25 minutes to two then up to the eight then um, and if you're looking at just without looking at the minute hand if you're looking at the hour hand then you can see it's sort of between the one and the two so it's either going to be one something or well it's going to be 140 or it's going to be once you get past the the minute hand gets past the six then it's going to be so many minutes until the next one which is the two so 140 or 20 minutes to two and then round there to the minute hand pointing to the nine 
that's uh, at um, at uh, that's 145 or it's uh, 15 minutes to two or a quarter to two which is uh, so it's a quarter of an hour still to go until two o'clock uh, the 10 that's 50 minutes it's either 150 or it's 10 minutes until two and again uh, at the 11 mark it's uh, one 155 or it's five minutes until two and then when you get around to the 12 around to the 60 60 minutes has elapsed which is one hour so the one o'clock now becomes two o'clock so it's just a matter of looking where the hour hand is is it between the one and the two and then uh, then looking at the minute hand is it before the six then it will be you know so many minutes after one whether it be five past one ten past one quarter past one etc and then once the minute hand goes past the six then it's going to be you know so many minutes until the next o'clock which in this case is going to be two o'clock okay well hope that's helped you uh um you know work out how to tell the time with an analog clock um, so i hope you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching and goodbye for now